What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for another episode of Pit People. We are carrying around a whole bunch of treasure right now and we just grouped up with a conquistador after murdering a bunch of people on a beach who were trying to sacrifice somebody to Chud or Chad or something. I don't know what they're Chuds. I don't know who they were trying to sacrifice a dude to, but they were definitely trying to sacrifice a guy. And so we jumped in, we fought him, and we got rid of him because the city gave us a free house. And because the city gave us a free house, apparently we're ingratiated to them. Who is this dude? What's up with this guy? Who are you? What do you want? You look like a muffin. What are you? Yum, yum. <laughs> Are we gonna... Alright, chumps, it's time to hand over your gold. Look now, my friends, I see a potential recruit. That short one is smelling quite delicious, no? What's that, did somebody call me delicious? Hey, hands off, I'm robbing you, remember? I claim this cupcake in the name of Queen Isabella of Spain. All right, so how to recruit fighters. Kill everyone except the recruit, and then throw a net at them Pokemon style. Take the fighter home. Gotcha. Take me home tonight. Gotta get a cupcake to go and cut and bite. Oh, man. Oh, he hit his own unit. That's kind of interesting. I didn't even know that could happen. So she's got a net. Uh, let's go ahead and move her up to the front. Yup. You stay right where you're at. You move over to there, and you move over to there, and we'll see if we can whoop our way through these guys. Uh, you stay right where you're at. I don't even care. Just don't move. That's what I'm talking about. There's that turn with the damage right there. Going in on them, letting them have it. You know, this game is so delightfully goofy that I just can't help but love it. Like, this game is really, really good as far as turn-based strategy games go. Like, I like the idea of just, like, moving around doing whatever you want, too. Uh, you go ahead and stay where you're at. You stay where you're at. You move to there. Although there's no guarantee who you're going to attack. We'll kind of see how this plays out. Oh, you missed with your secondary axe, man. We got to work on your dexterity stat. How are you going to miss? Ooh, we are being shot at right now. Yay, I've converted your arrows into useful gold. You move up to there. You move up to there. You basically just do whatever you want and... Just stay in the region of what's about to happen right now. So he killed him off. And there's a little bit more damage out right there. I'll probably send her out to go chase down the archer. Because we are taking a bit more arrow damage than I'd like to admit. I do wish that the health bars showed while you were actively getting hit. But I think they do sometimes, not all the time. You move up to there. Uh, you move over to there. You move down and help. We gotta finish this dude off. And she's not really doing that much damage. We gotta pile this on a little bit better. And that's the kill right there. 120 more XP for our axe throwing boy, Yosef. Oof. That was like every single arrow. Like there was not a single arrow uneaten out of that entire volley. Everybody just move up as hard as you can. Just, yep, charge straight forward. Keep healing or you'll wish you'd never been baked. I'm being good. More frosting coming right up. So that's a healer unit right there. I think that's going to work out pretty well. Oh, yeah. He throws heals on people. Okay. Well, you pile in right there. You pile in right there. You're already in a good enough position to throw some axes at him. And you've got the net, so I need you to work your way up that way. Go ahead and do our thing. Get everybody into position. Yup. Put a little bit more hurting on this guy. I'm going to throw a net on the cupcake pretty soon. So he's throwing out pretty sizable heals. He's nullifying, like, entire turns right now. I don't know how to throw the net, so I'll have to figure that out. Maybe she'll throw the net from right there. I don't really know. And uh, Maybe it has to do with the spacing of the characters. Oh, yeah, there it is. Wait, no, recruits are not for beating. Oh, he's still healing. So do I have to throw more nets on him? I like the music. The music makes me happy. Uh, I can't fit everybody up in here. I don't know. We'll figure it out.
Does she want me to capture the archer too or just the cupcake? I honestly don't know right now. Uh, let's go with... Move to right there, possibly. Yeah, move to right there. Yosef, you kind of move over to there. Um, you stay right where you're at. I'm not sure why she keeps saying that, because I'm pretty sure I was supposed to be catching the, the muffin over there. I think it's just an automated message. I don't really know. I couldn't honestly tell you. Go ahead, and he's going to be finished off right now anyways, so I'm not really that concerned about what's about to happen. Thank you, I'm free! Free! The muffin said, or the mush... What is it? It's a cupcake. The cupcake said, as it was trapped inside of a cage for future consumption. There you go. Enjoy your time inside of the cage. Recruit Gluten the Cupcake. His name is Gluten. It's pretty amazing. Keep Sophie alive. I must make a note of this. To the survival guide! A delicious little healer. When they heal someone, they're sacrificing their own health. They regenerate health when low. Weak to poison. Okay. Let's maybe go to the world map. Oh, this is just the journal. Gotcha. Alright, I don't need that anymore. We did capture somebody, though, which is pretty sweet. Our MVP this time around was Yosef, who dealt a ridiculous amount of damage. Frankly, did hells of damages. All right, so we've got a couple XL treasures inside of there. We've captured a monster. We're going to bring it back, and it's going to work for us now. Or maybe not. Who knows? If he's got a will of his own, and he really doesn't like the world of bondage that we've decided to put him into, Let's then see. I'm not mad. Over here and check. All right, so we got the Bridgeside Bandit. We've also got Gluten. We've got a Scalpel. We've got Sharp Sticks. We've got the Orc's Delight. We've got the Registered Nurse. We've got Cupid's Kisses. And we got Hey, That's Mine. Okay. Is there more stuff here? We got the Basic Board. We got a Cash Wad. We got Tuft Guy. We got Head Nurse. We made a bunch of gold. Looks good. You unlocked Insane Mode. The Insane Mode machine thing is located in the city. Use it to toggle the Insane Difficulty setting on and off. I'll be waiting by the city gate. Okay, that's fine by me. Uh, is there anywhere else I can go around here? So I can go to the phone so that I can play online. There's like a thing over here. There's an Insane button. I love how animated the city is. It's got a very old school feeling to it, and I like that about it. Let's go back to the house, and we'll run some equipment over here. And so for a plus one... Now we can buy that slot right there. Let's go ahead and we will put Gluten the Cupcake in that slot. So we now have Gluten the Cupcake doing his thing. Uh, Gluten the Cupcake, what can you equip right now? He's got a Raspberry Swirl and he's got a Vanilla. Does it really matter though? He can have what looks like a piece of waffle in his head. I'm sure he can get a cherry or something like that later on too. Alright. So let's have a look at you. We've got new helmets? No. But we do have new faces. And so we can put Horatio can have girl hair, like nurse hair. We've got Tuft Guy. We can put a bag on his head. I'm going to put a bag on his head. Bag on his head's dope. Like, I don't know. He's pretty manly right now, but I feel like with a bag on his head, he'll be more efficient as a killer. As far as weapons go, we've got a big old whooper right there that makes him strong versus armor. That also makes him strong versus armor right there, just in case we were worried about that as a potential tie-up. Got the box cutter. We've got a Scalpel, which gives a little bit more to crit. Lowers his damage down to 6. So we got the Pirate's Rapier. That one's got plus to crit. Okay. We've got a Pool Cue as well. I don't know what the right choice is right here. I honestly couldn't frankly tell you. We've also got new ranged weapons. So it looks like we've got like an Orcish Mortar. It looks like to me that we can launch at the enemy. We've also got a Bow right there. We've got Cupid's Kisses. We've got the sticks and whatever, and the lightest bow. And so both those do 8 damage. That one right there has a question mark effect on it, though, and I have no idea what it does. Alright, good to know. I will probably keep him right around with what he's got going on. Uh, as far as she goes, though, there is the possibility we could do some kind of upgrading here. And so... That lowers the damage, but also lowers weight. Yeah, go ahead and take the nail board. What does that do right there? Armor crushing, and she has deflection from her shield. It might be an okay idea. What is that right there? The cash wad? What does a cash wad do? 
So it is armor piercing, it stuns, and it's got armor crushing. So apparently it's a throne weapon, maybe? It looks like it's like a ninja star throne weapon. We also have a recruiter's thing right there. We don't have any new shields. Yeah, give her the cash wad. We'll have her throw a wad of cash at our enemies because why not? I'm going to give him the mortar because why not? A human equipped with projectiles. They fire their maximum amount of shots when they do not move on a turn. Moving on a turn causes them to half their number of shots. So a mortar does two shots. A medium bow does four. And a light bow does six. Good to know. He can also have new faces. Let's like... I don't know, make him scruffy or something. I kind of like his hairstyle, how he's got it right now. Can I do anything with her equipment? So there's a bunch of rapiers here. She's rocking that one. Uh, we can lower her damage right there. But that'll give a plus to crit. What does that one do? Snare. So I guess I can snare somebody with it. It slows them down, possibly. So we got a pirate's rapier. And those. that one right there does less damage, but it's got a higher crit chance. I don't really know what's better. I think it probably comes down to preference, whatever you want to equip. Yeah, sure, why not? Give her the scalpel. And then for you right there, he just throws healing juice on everybody. His lovely healing gut juice. We must recruit another fighter for the cause. Let us buy cages near the gate for España. Okay, we will buy... Some fighter types work great together. Experiment often. That giraffe is terrifying, dude. I never want that giraffe anywhere near me. That giraffe can go away. I don't think I actually picked up the crate. I think I gotta pick it up. Yeah. So to buy a crate... Ah, there it is. Okay, so we got a recruits cage right there. I'll probably pick up a couple of them. A resurrection, we've got nitrous. So apparently we could be high off nitrous as much as we want. Give me a couple healing camps too, just in case. Alright, let's go. All right, so everybody's in the action right now. I don't necessarily know what our mission is. It looks like there's area missions right now, and there's exploration. So there's a bandit right here. Let's go ahead and find him. We will whoop the teeth out of him and kind of see how this goes. Oh, he's got a lot of guys with him, though. He's got a lot of guys with him. It's a little concerning. Is that guy going to beat me with a flashlight? Man, he's going straight mall security on me. Uh, you get out in front of her. Cupcake, you be right there, and then you move on up as well. I guess they've only got one more guy than I do. Or do they have the same amount of guys? No, they got one more. I'm bad at counting. I never learned that skill. So he can shoot from right there. He can shoot from right there, though, too. Stay where you are. Uh, Sophia... I don't know. Move up right there. You block the hole, and then you go up right there. And we'll sort of just see what happens. God, he's firing bombs at everybody, and it looks like stuff... That oh, she threw cash at him! Hell yeah! That's how you ball out right there. You defeat enemy with the power of your cash wad. How heavy is it? Hella heavy. Hella. Alright, so Yosef. I'm gonna need you right there so that you can heal people. I need you to step forward. You kind of do your thing right here, and we'll sort of play it as it lies for right now. Those mortars do work right there, but they also hit my own guys pretty hard. Did you just heal? Oh, no, she healed my guy. He had the bag on his head, so I got confused about who was on my side and who was on their side. It's kind of a lot of monsters here. I'm a little bit concerned about how this is going to turn out. Uh, you go to a place where you can only heal her. You jump down, spin around, make this thing happen. You stay where you're at. You continue just being a giant unholy roadblock. And you can pretty much fire at everybody over there. I mean, it's either that or I fall back. So what's the range on this thing? Like, how do you even tell what the range is on it? Hurry up. I'm just going to leave him right here. He can mortar everybody. Mortars is going out, and there ain't a whole lot that I could do about that. Somebody's getting shot here today. 
He got a level up from that. Hell yeah, that's that good stuff right there. Let's keep this thing moving. Oh, they're going after my range guy. That's not good. They are really not fans of him. Yeah, they swooped on my line straight nasty style. Go over there and heal him. You guys stay on the weaklings. And you get in right there. I think that's the only move that he has right there. So just go ahead and do it. Rescramble the battlefield. Everybody scramble up. Like, we're going to need some kills before too long. Like, I'm not trying to be negative right now, but this fight is not going to work out in our favor if they're able to just waltz through our lines like this and keep messing with us. Especially since they're dropping crits left and right, dude. This is brutal. Yeah, you go over there. Um. I don't know who I want to go after right now. Obviously, that guy's a priority. And kind of what I'm focusing on. Like, essentially, I just need to eliminate their numbers. If I can get rid of their numbers, we'll be all right. But if they maintain the numerical advantage, we're really going to struggle here. So they got him trapped. That's okay. I can kind of live with that. Yeah, you fall back to right there. You... That was kind of a mess up. That was my bad. I clicked the wrong key. I messed up on that one. I pressed the space bar before I was ready. It was a mistake. I didn't mean to. That may have cost us right there. I don't know. Well, they got his ass trapped now. Okay, Cupcake Monster. Uh, he can't do anything, so that's it for him. He's stuck. Uh, Cupcake Monster, get over there. Like, I don't know if I should swarm back over here and mess these dudes up. It seems like he might have a world of hurt coming, though. Or if I should hold my ground over here and make something happen. So that guy can take damage, that guy can take damage, and that guy right there can take damage from all three of them. So we'll rotate around to a flanking position. God, he's got HP on him. That guy is not joking. That big old flashlight whooper that he's got right there. It's entirely plausible that we might lose somebody here. And I gotta choose who it's gonna be. So you go over there. Uh, can't really leave you in combat for too much longer. That's going to have to work. So he's throwing out a couple of payloads right there just to keep people's health up. But we're going to lose our mortar, man. I didn't expect them to bum rush him like that. Like, I really honestly didn't. Stop dying and die already. His name is Boople Snoot. All right. Uh, Boople Snoot, sorry to disappoint you, but I can't really do a whole lot for you right now. Gluten, stay where you're at. In fact, just about everybody stay where you're at. I'm okay with this positioning. Like, yeah, I need fatalities to happen, but... I don't know how plausible it's going to be. So he moved over there to regenerate a little bit. Uh, sorry, man. Sucks to be you. You stay right where you're at. You stay where you're at. You stay where you're at. And you circle around to right there. Oh, I was hoping I could fish out a crit right there for the kill. Nope, didn't get it though, and he is now gone. Oops, a fighter's dead. They'll be back at your house like it never happened. Okay, bye. That's all right. Uh, you go over there. You fall back and heal her. And everybody else just hang tight. 
Ooh, I didn't expect that to be such a good turn for us. We beat that, we beat that dude to death with a cash wad, bro. That's pretty legit right there. That's a pretty baller way to go out, man. I'm happy with my positioning right now. Keep it. Yeah, work on whatever that thing is and get rid of it. Just keep healing her because her health is garbage right now. And I need it to be better. I think that turn that I accidentally skipped is what got me right there. And he's running away. This dude doesn't want to play anymore. All right. Uh, you stay where you're at. You run over to there. You run over to there. Should be good enough. Oh, you attacked the wrong one, bro. You attacked the wrong one. It actually, it adds a lot of chaos to the game that you can't decide what they're going to hit on their turn. And you just kind of have to wait it out and see what they prioritize. It does. It really sincerely adds, like... It doesn't add depth, but it adds chaos. It makes the game much less predictable as far as the whole thing's concerned. She's healed up, so everybody's looking good now. And we are scrambling the remainder of the enemies. So you're not capturable. You're not capturable. Uh, you stay where you're at. You move over there to mess with him, and that's good enough. I don't think we'll kill this guy, but I do think we'll get some damage off. And that's really all that it takes most of the time. It's not enough damage on this turn. Maybe it'd be enough damage on the next turn. You know, we're doing some science right now, trying to trying to figure things out objectively. Oh, cool. We recruited him. Nice! A kobold. They can close distances fast and do so in swarms. Kobolds get bonus damage against archers and mortar users. If raptors and goblins had a baby, this is what you might get. It will resist fire and ranged damage. One slot, you get two of them. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Sounds like a plan to me. I accidentally captured a monster. Nice. Uh, the VIP was Horatio. MVP, that is. So inside of our bag, we've got a little bit more loot right there. We've got a healing campfire. Unfortunately, we lost Yosef. And so I don't know if I got to go all the way back to town or if I can just handle that right now with like a healing campfire. We'll try it out. We'll see what options we have. We got a new fighter. Let us return to the city before we lose it. Okay. Wait, what is that right there? Can I pick up his flashlight? I can't? Man, I was really looking forward to beating somebody with a flashlight too. It seemed like an exciting thing to bludgeon my enemies with. All right, so we got some apple gel right there. We've got a kobold named Hush Puppy. He's got a little ghost hat. We've also got Offix and Blueby, which I guess is some kind of sword. I don't really know. We got 10 gold, 110 right there, so not too bad. You unlock the quest board. The quest board is back at the gate. Go there to play story and bonus quests. Do these tasks for rewards from the Emperor. Okay. 1,500 damage. Kill four enemies with kobolds. Kill four enemies with pixies. And then you get some goodies. All right. Sounds all right to me. We have enough gold to unlock another slot for our team. Let's get to the house so that we can expand our fighting force. All right. Let's get this slot right here. Nice. And then I guess we will put Boople Snoot up in it. So we've got Boople Snoot and Hush Puppy. That's kind of weirdly adorable. They're like little shiv monsters that run through the forest with cute names. And they are ready to kill you. And it looks like they can have either backpacks or they can have scare tactic. Does it matter? I'm going to give them little backpacks because the backpacks are cuter. That's what I'm going to do right now. I'm trying to lose my man card today. You unlock the market. The market is located in the city. Go there to purchase items and fighters. Now that our forces are strong enough, we can attack Helmator and get revenge. I don't know if I want to do that. Like, it seems risky. Like, we go fight Helmator right now. That might be a, a scary proposition. We've got a new sword right there. That's going to give us one more damage. And it looks super badass. So that's pretty cool. It also gave us a plus to dodge. It might not be the proper thing for our character, but it's still pretty fun. I think I'm going to take that off of him. And let's see what else we got going on here. Go with a bow. We'll see what happens with the bow for a little bit. Uh, I felt a little bit more lucky with the bow than the mortar. Like, the mortar does damage, but if he gets closed with, his ass is done for. He ain't going to make it. He is definitely toast. Don't think I need any of that. Uh, cupcake's not really doing much. So we've got the Marquette. Can I afford anything? So we've got Mercenaries. And we've got Button Masher. We've got the Stinger, which looks like an actual badass thing to have. What does the Button Masher cost? 
700 gold for everything, and then we've also got some kind of tater slammers, so you can dual wield potatoes and beat the enemies with them. I love the goofiness of this game, and just how it doesn't take itself seriously. Like, there's enough, like, pretentious artsy games out there. We need more games like this that are just, like, lowbrow and just, like, dicking around and just, like, pure fun from the top to the bottom. I really do think so. I need to go to the quest board. So we've got a story quest right there. Uh, Helator's Fortress. Got a full team? Do your thing. Uh, we can also go and do Take Me to Tinkletown. Escort Gooseberry's Shy Bladder to Tinkletown. We can also go to the beaches of Moltensia, which are being frozen by invaders. Or someone is rudely stealing zombies from Ditchville. Uh, let's go do the zombie quest, I guess. We'll do main storyline quest later. That's fine. I'm not that worried about it. All right, so here we are. Mind your manners. But with that being said, I think we're just about out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Pit People. I hope you really enjoyed it. I think this game is fantastic. I may keep playing it. I may not. I don't know. Let me know what you think down below. If you like the video, hit that like button. It helps out more than you know. My name is Splattercat, and I do indie games on the internet every single day so that you can know what's coming out and what's awesome and what is rad. If you wanted to join me live, you can do that at Twitch TV slash Splattercat Gaming every single day at 3 o'clock Pacific Daylight Time as of right now because Daylight Savings Time is just mucking up everything with its stupidity. And aside from that, if you wanted to hang out on Twitter, you could do that at Twitter.com slash Splattercat Games. See you all there. I do, everybody. Thanks for stopping in.